Okay, so let's talk about naming conventions with our files. So one of the things that you need to get in the habit of doing uh, as a student and as a professional is uh, coming up with a naming convention and using it whenever you uh, save your files out. So for this semester, what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to save your files out in a very specific way uh, and name them in a specific way. Uh, in the past, I've had student projects that are named XYZ49-46. People just hit keystrokes on the keyboard because they get kind of frustrated and in a hurry. So what we're going to do, uh, because that makes it very difficult for me to um, kind of tell who made which project, because we have very similar projects. Everybody will be doing DOS and chair and crates. So what we want to do is save our files out in a specific way that makes it easier to recognize who created which file. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use the snipping tool to um, save out a screenshot of this little mech I created. So I'm going to hit new. Just going to select this area. Go to file save as. I'm going to place this in the this PC pictures folder. I'm going to name this uh, for this class. We're in principles of game design. It's a little bit big um, uh, to type out. So I'm just going to type in POG underscore mech underscore Henley Oops. underscore spring underscore 2020 uh, and I'd like for you to save your files out like this this semester uh, and just get in the habit of doing this um, uh, in your everyday life so I'm going to hit save and so now if I go and look for this in the file explorer. Go to pictures. You can see I have a bunch of other uh, um, files here, but I can see immediately I have principles principles of game design. I have a mech. It's by Henley in the spring of 2020. Uh, so this just makes it a lot easier to uh, identify project files. So let's go ahead and try to do that this semester.